Thank you, thank you, Hilal, for this opportunity and bringing us together. Really, I feel very honored and I feel at home among the other human rights defenders. Uh, I'm coming from the world's biggest jail for journalists. And uh, at the moment, we have 150 journalists in jails of Turkey. Uh, and among them, uh, my colleagues from my paper, who was the, who is the oldest and most prestigious paper in Turkey, and editor in chiefs, writers, reporters, lawyers of the paper are in jail at the moment. Even the tea maker, who re refused to give uh, tea to the president, jailed in Turkey. So, uh, and I was one of them last year, and because I made a story about the Turkish intelligence tr trucks trafficking arms through Syria, sending arms, uh, carrying arms to Islam, radical Islamists in Syria. We published the story. We, we broadcast the, the footage of the trucks. And the story was true, and nobody denied that. But just the other day, President Erdogan, then Prime Minister, uh, targeted me and said that the journalists who made this story will pay a heavy price for this. And I've been paying this price for the last uh, 12 months now. And uh, I was, uh, I faced four charges. One is spying. The other one is uh, trying to help a terrorist organization and um, trying to topple the government and releasing the state secrets and were asked two life sentences because of that, which was equal to the old punish, uh, to the old um, capital sentence, really. And that means for one news item, I would be hanged uh, in the old uh, capital punishment. After the elections, I was arrested and uh, spent three months in solitary confinement in the biggest prison of Turkey. And I was released after three months with the decision of the Constitutional Court saying that this is not an act of terrorism, it's an act of journalism. And uh, But Erdogan said that he wouldn't obey this decision. And last year, on May, I was convicted five years and ten months of imprisonment because of releasing state secrets. Uh, and on the same day, I was attacked by a gunman just in front of the courthouse. And I, was, I, I was survived thanks to my wife, braveness of my wife, who jumped on the attacker and grabbed his hand. And thanks to her, I survived. And then I decided to leave the country. Uh, and last summer, I was on holiday. And uh, in the 15th of July, this military intervention attempt has happened. And I decided to stay uh, outside of Turkey. And But the, the government didn't allow my wife to join me. And at the airport, they stopped her and took her passport. And since her passport is confiscated, she couldn't come. And we haven't seen each other since then, since the last seven months now. And uh, using this military intervention attempt as an excuse for his oppression, Erdogan uh, built up his op aggressiveness and oppression and detained more than uh, 15,000 people and 50,000 were fired from their jobs. And this was the biggest crackdown. This has been the biggest crackdown in our history. And even the third biggest party's presidents and the 11 parliamentarians are in jail at the moment. And under these circumstances and under the state of emergency now, Turkey is heading a referendum. It will be on the 16th of April, and Turk Turkish people will decide between democracy and dictatorship. 
and according to the opinion polls, it's 50-50 now, and we'll have a very important period of time, and in the end, we will, be, we will have the, the most important, most crucial, critical referendum of our history, maybe the last election of our history. So it is so important, and that's why we are just uh, trying to explain people that yes means a kind of dictatorship for him. But we don't have any means to explain ourselves since the media is surrounded by him, the bureaucracy is controlled by him, and the academics are, you know, f fired. So it's really very hard for us to explain the situation. That's why we start up a new media uh, outlet in Germany, an exile media called Özgürüz, and uh, that means in Turkish we are free, and we are trying to reach our audience from Germany and together with some friends in exile. So uh, again, thank you for this opportunity, and I'm just asking uh, United Nations to, you know, to adopt a resolution about Turkey and est establish a commission of inquiry about the human rights abuses in Turkey. And I, I will join President Nasheed, uh, say, who said that, yeah, we can bring them down if we can come together in solidarity. And this is a very good step for us. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.